Matt of Merch Fab. In this video, I'm starting my uh, recovery truck bed build project on uh, Ford Transit Mark 6. And as um, soon as this is finished, I'll be going to pick up my next big project, which is going to be awesome. Here she is. Fine piece of machinery. It was a drop side pickup bought about a month ago. Um, the fuel pump went on it after about a week of owning it, so I just got that all sorted. There's a few other little jobs need doing on it, but I just need to get the bed on it so I can uh, move some stuff around and um, pick some stuff up. Plan is uh, basically a sloping. Um, beaver tail type bed and uh, I had a truck come in to drop a car off a couple of weeks ago and it looked exactly what I was trying to achieve to get you know he had a low car on it and he could still get it on and off um, only difference I'm gonna do is his bed was 16 foot long which I think is uh, sort of standard for a recovery truck but I'm gonna make mine a bit shorter just because I'm only carrying my own stuff and I only really like small cars, so I'm never going to be carting any huge, long American cars or anything like that on it. It's just uh, moving my own stuff around. All right, so I'm basically going gonna, gonna to start quite high up here and then come down to probably about three inches at this point here and then drop down so it's just level with that and then back down to about two feet off the floor. This is all the steel I've got for it. So this is uh, two and a half mil wall by 50. This is one and a half mil wall by 50 and one and a half mil wall by 25. So I'm gonna do a mix of all that to try and keep it as light as possible, but use this for the main rails. Uh, all the back section, just the bits that really need to be strong. All right, first job is just to cut a load of little square plates with two bolt holes in to make the uh, fixings to where it's actually gonna bolt onto the chassis. So I just cut these out with the plasma cutter, just out of some uh, off cuts of scrap. Four mil plate. And then just, uh, Clean them up, get them all exactly the same size. Now I've marked out uh, what size the holes need to be and uh, just drilling through all eight plates in one go rather than trying to drill each one individually. And these are the folded, these are some folded uh, pieces that cap off the end of the chassis rails, you can see them on the end there. And now I'm just getting all these bolted down, squaring them all up because they're slotted holes on the chassis so it took a while to make sure they were all dead square. Now this is like the first uprights going in, just messing around, uh, checking the height and standing back and having a look at it and just trying to visualise how it's all going to sit on there and yeah it took me a while to work out how wide I wanted it and um, yeah just a bit of sort of sticking pieces on there and looking at it and then going from there really. Once this center sections in and all the angles are right um, yeah, it's pretty much plain sailing from from then on it's I did uh, mitre joints on the end of all the end of all the uh, box sections so that there's no open pieces of tube anywhere when it's all finished it should look a bit tidier and um, this was just working out the uh, angle for the back and the height 
that it's going to end up sitting from the floor so that was a bit of uh, yeah just a bit of trial and error with that I'm just using a piece clamp to the top there just to get the just to get the back section square so the whole thing's straight all the way through. These are like my sort of outrigger pieces if you like and then I just clamp that piece along the top so that when I clamp those outriggers onto it I know it's exactly level all the way across the top and then it just makes it easy to square everything up and then put a couple more uprights in in the center and then I uh, just mark the center of these two more arc riggers going on and then uh, these are the side rails I had to kink the end of these in so that there wasn't um, so there wasn't like a square edge sticking out past the cab you're not supposed to have any jagged edges um, and the camera stopped recording there so I missed the back section but I just had to pull all the wiring through to um, pull it out from the chassis and then sort of reroute it to make it long enough. And it just about reaches, I might have to extend a couple of wires. And then just basically just doing enough welding uh, just so it's strong enough for me to drive home really. And then. Um, I'll wait till I've got the rest of the supports in and uh, finish one up tomorrow. That's it for today. Pretty good going for a first day. Yeah, I've got everything how I want it. Uh, there's not much of a angle to the bed, so you should be able to get pretty low cars on there. I went for a 15 foot bed instead of a 16 foot. So everything I've built apart from these side rails is uh, 2.5 wall for all the main structure of it. The side rails are 1.5. And then they'll have like a side trim. Along the side, once the tread plate's on, it'll have a side trim so cars can't slide off the side of it. But yeah, the rest of it now is just filling everything in putting all the extra supports in and then tomorrow hopefully I'll have completely finished the welding and uh, I've got to make a bit to mount the lights this is just that's just temporary so I can drive home yeah pretty happy with that so yeah back in tomorrow and um, get another day on it that's it for today tune in tomorrow if you want to see any more of this if you're not really interested in a recovery truck I will have some more interesting projects coming up as soon as I finish this. Um, I've got to finish this basically to pick the projects up. So cheers for watching. See you tomorrow.